First one, this actually was something that they were considering at the start of the week, and I think they're pretty sh close to uh, actually approving, is allowing dentists in Japan to administer the uh, COVID-19 vaccines. Of course, there is a, now a pretty clear problem, which is a thing. There are a number of stories on this, which I will uh, go through as we cover these. But the main problem right now is, of course, uh, the first issue for Japan, of course, is supply. They don't make the Pfizer vaccine here and even the Moderna uh, one, which I think is on the brink of being approved. Um, they they were planning to manufacture the AstraZeneca uh, one. I think Takeda had the uh, rights to manufacture that. But everyone's looking at the fuss in Europe over that and the sort of issues that it's having. And uh, this was something that when Suga was over in America and didn't eat Biden's hamburger, um, he did uh, secure some extra viruses. Um, that was some extra viruses. He ex he secured some extra vaccines. The last thing we need is more viruses, of course. Interesting situation in America, by the way, that America conversely has more vaccines than it needs now. And now it's actually all the people who want to get vaccines there, are seem, it seems like have got it. And now, now the problem is that half of the country that doesn't want the vaccine isn't getting it. And now they're starting to ask people to get it and people aren't getting it. So, and, you know, um, of course, people are, are, are afraid of, um, you know, setting up some sort of 5G connection to, to the baby Jesus or something. I, I don't know what they're afraid of exactly, but, you know, some, some sort of perfectly rational alternative to science that should be included in education you know just basically witches and flying around in broomsticks and stuff like that which apparently a lot of people in america seem to believe in nowadays and the result is is that you have countries and i'm not talking about japan by the way japan you know can can hold on for a while but uh, there are countries obviously in dire need of more vaccines um, interesting stat though as well for all the stuff that's happening in india uh, apparently india is manufacturing the most vaccines of any country in the world of course you would need to when you've got 1.3 billion people people i think it is but um yeah bonus virus that was a mistake atomic tom uh but but yes indeed i, I like that emoji by the way uh, that should totally be allowed so uh yeah you know you've got all of that in japan you have this problem that there is still insufficient supply but you know there, there is sufficient supply supply for what they have planned which is rolling out to all uh, it turns out now 4.8 million medical workers and um what is the number? Something like 36 million people over 30, uh, over, over 65, not over 35. So, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are uh, rolling those out. And what they're finding is, is that they're doing it at little clinics. There's, there's two big problems with the rollout happening right now. First thing is, is that the government has pretty much, and this is really the Ministry of Health that they've done this again, they were responsible for securing the vaccines and they thought rather than make sure that everyone actually gets the shots, they would just make sure it all got delivered to the local governments in boxes and uh, that, that basically they would leave it up to the local governments to figure out how to get everybody injected. Uh, although there are still laws in Japan that apparently only registered doctors or nurses acting under the supervision of a doctor can administer vaccines so this is actually at my work when we all get the flu shots every year they're all administered by nurses but there's like uh some doctor there there's, you, know, you all get in a big line and you know there's a doctor sort of watching and certifying everything um, but this is the thing you know the, uh, whereas other countries you know when they wanted to do these sort of mass vaccination drives and they 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 basically allowed anybody practically car mechanics to vaccinate people but you know they, they would allow you know people uh, paramedics nurses midwives so they, they, they'll let everyone do it whereas in japan it still is very much locked down to doctors and of course many parts of japan just don't have many doctors per population so they've sent it out to all of these really underpopulated areas that hardly have any doctors that can't really distribute it um, and in Tokyo and the big cities, they've hardly distributed any vaccines at all. Um, and, and plus, there are so many uh, doctors that are not yet vaccinated that they can't start the rollout because they don't have the, the medical workers themselves are not yet protected. So you're trying to figure out how to break the bottleneck on now getting everybody um, shot up uh, with the vaccines. The government's decided to uh, allow dentists who of course dentists uh will administer you know, anesthesia and they, they you know you, you get needles from from dentists so apparently they're allowing an ex they're considering or in fact i think they just passed this week an exception to allow dentists to give uh the shots which is great for me i live in a neighborhood with like a, a bazillion dentists um the only thing is you know dentists are an interesting they're an interesting proposition in japan on the one hand i mean in new zealand 
dentistry school is actually harder to get into in terms of like exam scores than medical school at least it was back in my day and i do remember having braces and uh you could always tell the dental clinics from the normal gp clinics because the dental clinics always had mercedes benzes or bmws parked out in front belonging to the people who ran them they were better paid um yeah people care a little bit more about their teeth i suppose uh, in Japan, it's not a well-paid sort of a profession. It's cheap, and this is great. I mean, my Japanese friends, when they needed to get crowns done, they would actually fly back to Japan, and they would actually, it would be cheaper to get on a flight back to Japan and get it done in Japan than it was to get it done in New Zealand. So on the one hand, they, they are more affordable. And my homestay in Fukuoka was a dentist, and, you know, they are uh, art artisanal, right? They're, 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 they're very good at what they do. They don't use a, as great technology because there isn't as much money for it, but they're very good at what they do generally. The problem is, of course, that there's, the, because the, the the going rate for dentists in Japan is so cheap, um, frankly, a lot of them use what comes across to me as I, I don't think I've ever found one other than my own homestay that I thought wasn't really honestly like a scam. Um, unfortunately, the model here is if you go for like a cleaning, you know, if you feel like, uh, you know, you need to get a checkup and get your teeth all cleaned up once a year, which I like to do. Um, you know, they'll actually only do like a quarter of your mouth at a time. They're, you'll go in there for a clean and they'll say, sure, we'll give you a clean. And they clean like, you know, a quarter at the top, you know, right hand side of your mouth. And then they'll say that they need to book you in for the other for the other appointments. Um, and it'll grab what you expect to be one appointment uh, rapidly turns into uh, not only the four appointments to clean your mouth, but also the other follow up appointments that uh, the, for any sort of um, filling, for example, they'll, they'll do this as well. They'll spend a whole session just drilling a hole in the filling and then leaving it there and saying you have to come back if you want to get it filled in and they'll drill holes basically so that you have to go back. Um, and you know these things easily turn into like 10 times and most people I know just give up because they are, you can only schedule these during the week during working hours you have to take time off work for every single visit it's just impossible to do um, and, and just out of frustration I've actually given up with my mouth like three quarters clean uh, sometimes um, and yeah even the last visit I went to uh, they, they started drilling holes and fillings and stuff like that and I said fill them in now I'm not leaving unless you fill it in and you know we'll talk about the rest later and I didn't go back so just from that I, I did tweet out that there was uh, I worry if, if they're going to allow dentists to administer vaccines they're going to find some way instead of like two visits they're going to make you come back for like 20 visits or something like that they're only going to give you a little bit at a time or they're going to rub on the alcohol and say come back tomorrow and we'll give you half of the shot or something like that. Uh, that that unfortunately seems to be the business model that said there are more of them and you know so provided they can get them distributed that is a thing there's actually been a big kind of a ruckus in parliament and a lot of dissatisfaction where the government's been so focused on that they've secured the supply and they completely kind of washed their hands of responsibility for the distribution in fact taro uh kono taro he likes to be called kono taro so i like to call him taro, taro kono taro just just to catch catch all the directions he actually tweeted this week that yes, we've we've secured uh, all the all the the the, the virus, you know the, the vaccines necessary for uh, you know the, the planned rollouts. So you know we really need the um, prefectures and the municipalities to actually get moving and try a little bit harder to actually get things done so it gets distributed. I.e., you know we've done our job, but the rest of you all really suck. Is what the minister in charge of the distribution of vaccines uh, tweeted out. Uh, in Parliament as well, there was a uh, the the an opposition member actually took the um, took the prime minister to task and said, "Hey, look, Biden in America, he came up with uh, targets, even general targets for when he population would get actually vaccinated. Do you have targets for when, not the supply? We all know what the supply is. Do you have targets for when the vaccination runs are going to be complete? Because we're hearing radically different dates. And the basically, there's this." It, a very well edited video by an opposition member showing this thing where he asks like four or five times the same question every time the the, the prime minister says um you know it's not easy we're, every we're going to do our best we we have secured enough supply that's all that he would say back so this is the problem right now there is this bottleneck around distribution it's kind of frustrating here japan does have a very low rollout i think compared to other countries it's uh i believe only ahead of maybe south korea in terms of the oecd it's like 1.8 percent uh in fact maybe only ahead of new zealand but uh new zealand will catch it up in no time it's uh, it's only got five million people um and they've got no cases so you know why why hurry um i i must admit i i i really want this sort of done especially as we go into the situation today with a new state of emergency but unfortunately uh without vaccinations it's not going to happen so we'll see